my dear Leos, this is a love reading, a prediction for the month of October with me, Kuna Kaps Tarot. And this reading is dedicated to Jung that made a donation for Leo. So thank you so much, Jung. I can recommend that you rewatch the previous love reading for September because that's the energy right now. And this will be the prediction for October. Due to illness, I will only read for half of the signs this week and the other half next week. And I will start uh, reading your cards and I use the golden tarot with Roberto de Angelis. So we start with the situation and we have the ace of coins in the reversed. Um, I'm feeling something is being offered without being offered. It's almost hanging in the air, but it's not being um, like brought forward to you. Uh, no one is, is stepping forward to you and offering you this, but it's like hanging there. I can't, uh, I can't describe it better. So it might be that your other person wants you, but are too afraid to say it or refuse to say it. Um, okay, so we look at the um, what's on your mind with the person most on your mind. And we have an eight of coins in the reverse. I can understand this. Uh, because you say that they don't cooperate and um, you feel probably that they want you or they want to offer you something but they don't step forward and, and do the work that's necessary to get this done. So you feel very frustrated and um, um, probably unjustly treated as um, the other person isn't doing their fair share or not putting in their, the effort necessary to solve this situation. You also had uh, justice uh, in the reverse in the bottom of your deck here. So uh, this is uh, the other person's, um, uh, like what's on their mind with you. And we have a knight of swords uh, in the reverse. Uh, it might be that you're dealing with like a, a runner uh, someone that wants to run away from you, but the Knight of Swords is in the reverse. So I want to understand this a little bit better. So I take from the Brutally Honest Oracle cards. And we have, I miss you more than I want to admit. I can't love you in the way you deserve right now. So uh, it's the person that's very hurt, uh, but in the same time they love you. We can see the kind of pink energies and the yellow energies going like this. So I feel like they're running away from you, but uh, they're not able to. It's like a rubber band in their little behind that um, makes them like run, 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 run. But uh, they miss you more than they want to admit. But they also want to be like a good person. And I probably this person doesn't feel like a good person. And you don't think they are a good person because you are upset with them for not investing uh, and they feel like a bad person for not investing. But it's something inside of them that makes them unable to invest. Um, it's something going on with them personally that makes them unable to invest. And they think that they are um, a bad person for you to be around at this time. Or they feel like they would only mess you up or mess up your life. Or um, Yeah, okay. So we'll see. We'll go deeper into this. Okay, uh, so this is the bond between you two and we have the four of wands in the reversed. So it's again, it's like this, um, it's instead of a shadow government, it's a shadow relationship. It's like you are together, but you're not together. The love is hanging in the air. The person loves you more than they want to admit, but there's no relationship because they are not putting in the effort. They're running in the other direction. Um, or they might not be running, but at least stomping on the same side, like <laughs> or in the same spot, like this. <laughs> and um, so it shows that there's love between you, but it, that it can't be expressed or it can't be lived out. Um, they can't love you in the way you deserve. They can't give you the kind of relationship you want or that they believe that you deserve. Uh, so they feel inadequate in some way. That there's uh, there's an obstacles. Uh, there's an obstacle between you uh, and. Um, um, them like their ability to be in a relationship with you something is preventing it it might be that they're already married or they have a sh children with someone else or they have I don't know sick uh, relatives that need to be taken care of or them themselves has a, 
uh, illness of some sort that they don't want to uh, have like hanging over your head. Uh, so it can be different things. And it's also in the bottom of it all, I feel like a person that don't feel good enough. Uh, so they don't make the effort and they don't even try to fulfill their dreams because it's already have failed in some way or heaven will always work against them. This is your feelings towards this person. And we have a seven of wands here. Uh, I'm basically feeling this is actually you uh, trying to uh, like stop thinking about this person. Here comes up a thought about this person most on your mind and you say no. You shouldn't be here. And here comes up a foot and you say, no, you should be here. And it comes up a lot of different instincts that you have about this person. But I definitely feel like, <clears throat> sorry, logically, you would want to uh, move on from this relationship and say no to it. It's like um, um, this Dua Lipa, the new rules is what I'm feeling. Uh, like, <laughs> don't let this person in and and you know don't keep them as a friend and no 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 so it's a lot of no from you but it's because you have been said no to too okay and this is uh, um, their love for you or their feelings for you and we can see the hermit here um, so I'm feeling this is the entity that's together with you <laughs> it's the hermit uh, so on a meditation level when they go into meditation they are with you and when they are alone, they are with you. And when they are like floating off in their mind, they are with you. But they're also saying that they are this big martyr victim that's uh, going to, you know, live alone, alone, die alone, or at least live with the wrong people uh, and not with you. <clears throat> so um, it seems uh, almost like a punishment that they have put upon themselves. Uh, because there's something wrong with them or there's something wrong with their life or their past or their future. I don't know. Uh, but they feel very lonely uh, without you and they miss you a great deal. But they have problems. What can I say? And you realize this so you want to say no to them. And um, I want to see a little bit more what we can see about your approach to this situation. Uh, I was acting from my ego. I want to marry you. Okay, so the divine basically says that you are selfish for, for wanting to shackle this person down or for wanting to um, have them commit to you because they can't. It's like what you're asking of them is breaking them apart. Uh, what you're asking of them is, is not righteous. So it can feel righteous and from a you know, worldly perspective, you are right. Uh, they are hopeless and uh, they don't put effort in and you should say no to them. But um, it's almost, uh, let's say, I will try different uh, explanations here. Let's say that you're in love with a child and uh, that child can't marry you. It can't because it's a child and you shouldn't be in love with it in the first place. You can love and cherish it, but you can't be in love with it. Uh, uh, so that's the kind of constellation. This is not a child, of course, but it's a person that has like the vulnerability of a child in some way. Something in their life is making them vulnerable. Uh, it might be like the past has made them unable to, for example, it can be that you want to marry them, but they can't even be in a sexual union because they have been, I don't know, mistreated in some way that made this impossible. Or um, their family have had so much demands on them that it's, it's like they have a mountain on their shoulders and they are trying to stand up on this mountain now and they don't want a new mountain on their shoulder like you uh, acting from your ego <laughs> saying that you need to marry me or else. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, but um, uh, it feels like you have put in a lot of effort into this and that made you feel... Um, you start to become like self-aware that you saw that I'm doing all these things and this person is just like hopeless and uh, I want to have something real and they can't give me it so I'm saying no to them that's not selfish it's just putting boundaries but this with asking something from them that they can't obviously give uh, that's uh, you're acting from your ego ego means you try to control the situation and kind of get what you want out of it and what you want out of this situation can't be given to you 
They can't love you in the way you deserve. You want commitment. They can't give it to you. Okay. Um, okay. So this is um, uh, your behaviors and attitudes. And we have the sun in the reverse. <laughs> so that's again uh, ego. So I want to understand this. Why the divine is so upset with you. Because I'm actually on your side. <laughs> I'm, I'm a Leo too. I understand you fully. So see here. Engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity. Okay, so you want completion with this person. You want like forever happiness and feel like you can finally take a deep breath and feel like the weight is off your shoulder and that you are in union with someone and that this is perfect. Um, but again, <laughs> I'm reminding you, okay, that this is, uh, this is a child in some way. Uh, so it's not possible. And the dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change and heal. So I think you will feel pretty like stupid <laughs> when you find out what has been going on with this person and the kind of demands that you have put upon them. Or maybe you will never be aware of this. You will see it when you're able to like see your life in you know, hindsight when you come to heaven and, and you will see, oh, so this was how they felt and his, this was how they did things. But it's like some, um, this, the divine would want you to know this so that you can understand this situation better. Um, so it seems like you might get an idea or two of, of what it is uh, that's going on with this person. You know, don't take their... Uh, unability to be in a committed love relationship as uh, like don't take it personal it's not about you it has very little to do with you it has to do with other demands that's upon them it might be demands from ghosts of the past or a traumatized inner child or from people in their surrounding having um, impossible requirements on them or demands on them um, so what you want to happen here, this is Leo, Leo um, energy, uh, it's not possible and you need to, uh, you need to find some lighthearted energy in, inside of this where you can loosen the tight grip of like, this is what uh, life owes me or this person owes me and they need to, you know, be better, they need to do better. Well, they can't. So loosen the grip. You know, love this person for who they are and, you know, send them on their way. If your demand is this kind of like marriage committed relationship where you have the person in a box and like they are yours. <laughs> and uh, God damn it, if they ever say that they want to be something else than just yours. <laughs> so I'm kidding a little bit, but I'm just trying to make you see a little bit what I am seeing here. Uh, so um try to loosen the grip of this person and and see if you can bring yourself more stability in your life and and you know more things more legs to stand on instead of just one leg that needs to marry you you can have like a big group of friends a good job and you know family life here and other beautiful like leisure activities there and it doesn't have to be all about this person. So though they don't have to have this mountain above their head when they are with you. Okay. And this is um, their <laughs> behaviors and attitudes. Five of cups. Being very disappointed. Loving you. Missing you. Okay. So uh, what's the impossible? Why is this equation so impossible? If they love you and miss you, why, why are they not with you? Uh, this and this camera reminiscing keepsake perception learn from the past make memories mask not showing true feelings hide person personify pretend delude gaslighting it's not giving me much clues but it's something in the past has made them non-authentic they can't be themselves uh, when they are with you or when they are with anyone maybe they can be more themselves when they are with you but uh, it's a big effort from th for this person uh, whichever way so they're not showing it's something that they are hiding and they're hiding it it's something from the past something that they remember and it's something that they're also nostalgic about so it might be that someone they loved have hurt them 
a great deal and they still love this person so they can't see the abuse that was made towards them and therefore they need to hide it behind a mask they can't admit even to you or to themselves uh, what has happened because they love this person they have wonderful memories with this person um uh, oh i don't want to dig too deep into it since it seems to be such a well-kept secret okay so looking at uh, the outcome for october and we have a page of pentacles so again it comes this with the, the child that this is a um, when they were a child they have been traumatized in some way that made them unable to be the uh, grown-up adult partner that you wish you would have and this is what you have now this is what you are probably in love with because you, at least you want to engage and marry so uh, if it's just just ownership <laughs> it's probably love this is the biggest card for love also even if it came in the reversed um, but it's something fragile it's something that can't you know it can't uh, um, it can't perform for you it's broken uh, it's like you're trying to play with the toy and it should do this but it doesn't do that for you and you get upset and you toss it away um, okay that might be unfair but <laughs> it's just what I need to tell you what I'm feeling and then you interpret it in your situation so that you can understand it so what's um, uh, what the, is the divine seeing for this relationship? Well, both soulmate and and true love here, but unfortunately you got like a soulmate that was that was broken and and can't marry you at this time. And uh, I want to see an advice card for you, blessed. So I'll read a little bit about this card for you, but it's about you know for me. This is about counting your blessings and instead of complaining about the nature of things, be grateful for the things that you have. Don't complain about the things you don't have. Um, <clears throat> so there are moments in life when out of the blue, it seems that everything has been orchestrated by divine intervention. You feel blessed in ways that are difficult to express. It is as if the Red Sea parts in front of you and events comes together to banish your troubles easily and naturally. You are moving towards a deepening of intimacy in a unique and sacred partnership. You know you are meant to make this connection. This union, blessed by the divine, will bring transformation and beauty to the world. This is also a sign that, even more important, you are being called to a deeper intimacy with yourself and spirit. With this new development, you will see evidence of grace in your life. Uh, so, uh, try to be like the dragonfly. Uh, fairy here <laughs> be light-hearted um, let things be found out by itself like king, things coming to light and adapt and change and heal loosen the grip um, don't be so self-righteous uh, because you don't know uh, exactly what is going on here okay so uh, if you are a member to this channel you can watch the reading their true thoughts and feelings to get more information if you're not a member to this channel you can watch the reading the true thoughts and feelings to get more information about this situation or the what do they want to happen between you two reading uh, at my first channel page you will find a playlist for your astrological sign where you can watch all the latest readings for your specific sign in one single playlist on the end screen you will see the link to that playlist so go and check it out and as an extended member to this channel, you will get these readings ahead of time and with no ads. And I'm also doing spiritual growth readings for all the members to the channel every week. Subscribe and then check out the many perks to the join button that will appear or follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership. Thank you so much for watching and take really good care until next time. And bye for now.